uh, we were all talking about uh, going to the bank side, building a boat. I don't know, maybe we can even think about building a bridge to go to the other side. But honestly, I think that if we go to the bank, it can be good to take a rest, to, to dry a little bit the skin. But in the end of the day, regarding perceiving, I'm sure that the river after the next turn will get a completely different environment, a completely different atmosphere. And our perception will change completely. Vicente, and my friend, what's your question? Your description is great. Looks like you're from Portugal, which has a lot of water called the sea. I wanted to get to the sea, exactly. You get and there. <laughs> that was my point. Uh, and nobody actually, I think, said anything about, one, learning or how to swim, or, or two, learning simply how to flow with the water. And the metaphor did not extend to that. We believe that if we fall into the water, it's a problem. We need a boat. But once you learn to swim, that's an additional skill. However, that doesn't save you from the sharks or the piranhas. <laughs> uh, okay. So that means uh, honestly, whatever believe... you do, your karma will come right in front of you, facing that moment, our Vicente, in any kind of situation. Whatever skill you have, your karma does not disappear. Skills do not make karma disappear. They can enable you to handle it. But you should see how your karma is made. That it's made by our mental activity. Dualistic thinking, dualistic emotions, willpower, sense of self, external stimuli, internal response, etc. All the ingredients are there. So when you do this, when you live your life, the perspective matters, but the actual situation doesn't change. Whether you are just floating in the river, swimming in the river, in a boat, on a cruiser, your karma is with you. That's the message. And then you hitchhike, hitchhike your way out of it. Okay? That means you go to the unknown. You have told me about your plan. It's a great plan. Because when you walk on the path of the unknown, your karma will be left behind. That's why instinctively people take long trips. Long trips when they really don't know what's going to happen to them, they know where they want to get. But even the how and the when, it's not clear. The details, far from clear. So when you walk, the path wears you off. In fact, it wears your karma off. And that's the value of taking the trips into the unknown. And that's why our myths, our great stories of awakening, they are full of that. Okay? So swim. Love the river. Love the sea. Just be mindful of the sharks. <laughs>